back out at Spring House Gardens and surprise we are talking about more hydrangeas. <laughs> yeah, these are some new ones. Again, we're trying some of these varieties out because there was a big, um, kind of a big debacle maybe 10 years ago when Endless Summer Hydrangeas came out and everyone was, the holy grail was basically to try to find this type of hydrangea that blooms reliably in a cold climate. Huh. And Endless Summer was touted to be able to come up and bloom on old and new wood. Um, which means that it's grow if it, if it gets killed back in the winter like they invariably do. Yeah. Uh, when it comes up with those new shoots in the spring, it's supposed to be able to have enough time to make buds to have those big flowers by the summertime. And they did for a few years, but then everything just went south. <laughs> and the, to warmer climates. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't really bloom like they were um, su supposed to. So now we are actually testing out a lot of these um, newer varieties. These are from Monrovia. They have been working with different breeders across the world to try to find a whole series of hydrangeas that are going to bloom on old and new wood. I'm so, in love with this one because this one to me, th just the texture of the blooms looks so different than typical hydrangeas. Yeah, this one is Fire Island. I mean, look at that. This whole series is named after famous seaside resorts. Yeah, so and if you can't get to the beach this summer, you can just kind of like live like Harrison through yeah. your flowers. This is Cape May over here, which yeah. is a lace cap type. And we saw some of these earlier this summer that we talked about and didn't know if we could get uh, the blue. This looks very blue, especially the center at least. I love that one. This is the Hamptons, which mm. is very similar to the Just Fire Island. Just different texture. Uh, Cape Cod is another one that looks very similar. And we have had really good luck with the Cape Cod okay. down in our garden. I uh, love this, this one. This is I Cape mean, Lookout, which look isn't that, that gorgeous? Yeah, those little stripes of wine. So these are still going to need to be kind of tested, um, tried and tested, but mm -hmm. uh, they're coming from you know highly recommended. Uh, but for macrophyllas, they are water hogs. Um, and macrophylla, mm -hmm. macrophylla is the type of hydrangea. That means large leaf. Okay. So they have these large leaves that you see and they'll have these big mop head type flowers. Um, so they need lots of water and they need more shade in the late afternoon or else these things are gonna be drooping all the time. And you'll see that like the, old, the yeah. old large leaf hydrangeas, if they're not constantly watered, they droop a lot. Um, so you've gotta put them in well-drained soil um, um, with really good um, organic matter and then make sure that you water them well. And, and how long the blooms can last? Gosh, these blooms can last um, up to a month, month and a half. Yes. But you do need to actually start cutting those so that the new buds okay. can form before a frost comes. So it's a little tricky working hmm. with these macrophyllas because they're so beautiful you hate to cut them but it actually yeah. encourages more more I mean, blooms. Even look how different this one is, because yeah. it has a little bit more white in the center versus this one. It's, it's, you know, even within the same plant, you get such variety. It's it, so it's pretty. It's really, really cool. And I you can it. adjust the, the, the color of these flowers by adding acid mm -hmm. or lime. So it's it really is fun to try these macrophyllas. Just find a good spot in your garden, um, and uh, hopefully you'll have as much luck as we I do. I think I'm gonna have to like do. narrow it down to which ones I wanna try. I know there's too many. <laughs> also pretty, but this one I'm, on, I'm in that love one's gorgeous. with. Oh, yeah. So pretty. All right, well in the meantime, if people have questions for you. Well, come out and see us at 185 West Catnip Hill Road, just over the Jesmond County line in Nicholasville. You can look us up on Facebook, Instagram, but it's much more fun to come out. Absolutely.